What is going on, Phantom Army? Is your boy Phantom Stilts, and welcome back to another brand new tutorial video on the channel. Last year, I did a tutorial for my OBS settings and my mic settings for my Elgato as well as my microphone. Today, we're updating that. This is the best settings that I have that I found my own that I actually use for 2019. I hope you guys are psyched. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Without any further ado, let's get right into the tutorial, guys. I make it go. All right, guys, now that we're in Streamlabs OBS, I'm going to show you guys all of the settings that I use for both my game capture, my Elgato HD60, as well as my mic settings for everything I do whenever I do a live stream, when I do a walkthrough, or when I do a trailer reaction, anything I do on the channel, these are the settings that I use. So let's get right into it. So first thing you guys will notice is that when I'm talking on the mic, if I stop talking, the mic is still picking up some background noise. And you can see that by the microphone ATR USB microphone actually right down here in the bottom corner. If you look right there, watch when I stop talking. So it's still picking up a fair amount of background noise from either my computer, the fan that's going on in my room, anything like that. The settings that I show you guys now will actually expedite and stop all of that background noise from coming into the sound of the audio that you're trying to record. So the first thing we're going to do is a process called ducking. So basically what ducking is, is when you take a microphone or an audio source and you dub it over the game sound, for instance, from my Elgato HD60, the background noise or the audio from the game, you're ducking, aka dumbing down the sound of the noise that you want to silence. So the first filter we're gonna put on on the HD60, the Elgato HD60, is a compressor filter, and that's going to help us with the ducking of the audio. So you're gonna click on this little card to the right here. It's gonna say filters, so you click on filters. You wanna to go to the plus sign, hit the plus sign, and you're gonna to go to the filter type. You're gonna go all the way down until you see the word compressor. Sometimes you have to key it in, it doesn't always show you. So go ahead and put in compressor and it pops up right there. And then you're gonna hit done. And then the settings that I use, as you guys see, there's preset settings and default settings already in there, but I like to sort of tweak them. It depends on the mic that you have, if you have an XLR or a USB mic. Mine is actually both, my ATR2100 USB XLR mic is actually both, so you can use it with a mixer or you can use it just plugging it straight into your computer. So the settings that I like to use are on the ratio, we go about seven. So there's that right there. On this one, I like the threshold to be about 30 decibels. That's not too loud for me and not too soft. So we go to about 30.1 is the setting that I like it at. The attack, in milliseconds, this is how fast your mic will pick up the sound. So you want it all the way down to one. You want it to pick up the sound as soon as you start talking, then a snap of a finger. And then the release, this is when the audio from whatever you're ducking comes back. So I'm talking, talking, talking over the audio, and then the audio comes back once I stop talking. So you don't want it real fast, and you don't want it real short. You don't want it to pick up the sound of the game between every little word, and you also don't want it to fade all the way out until you're done talking for three seconds and then come all the way back. So I like to set it right around 6.04 or so. That's a good meter, at least for my mic. So we'll go ahead and set it to 6.04 if we can get there. There's 6.08, 6.04 right there. And then the output gain, you actually don't have to worry about. Now the side chain or the ducking source, this is what the Elgato is going to, when, when it picks up this audio source, it's going to duck the sound from the Elgato HD60, the game sound. So we want that to be our microphone, ATR USB microphone. That's the microphone that I use. So we'll go ahead and click that. And then from there, you're actually done with the Elgato HD60. Now, in order to see what we just did, I'm gonna have to set up the microphone settings first, and then we'll go into a game and I'll show you how the ducking actually works. So anyways, guys, this is how the ducking process actually works. As you guys can see, we're in a game of FIFA 19. And I'm playing one of the songs. I don't want to play it too long because I will get copyrighted. But if I stop talking, you can hear the audio pick up. And when I start talking, it actually completely drowns it out. So without any further ado, let's head back into Streamlabs OBS to finish the rest of the tutorial. So now that we're all done setting up our Elgato HD60, our game capture device, we'll set up the microphone and I'll show you guys my settings for that. As we're looking at our microphone, we're actually going to go to the exact same cog that we did for the Elgato HD60. So we're going to go right here to this little cog on the right. We're going to go to filters. So the first setting we're going to put on is a gain filter. And basically what the gain filter is, is it amplifies the natural volume of your microphone already. So if your microphone's at full volume, 
this is going to take it even further. So this is a good thing to do whenever your voice isn't loud enough, or maybe the natural voice, maybe your natural voice isn't loud enough or have enough boom to really get uh, with the, sound, the kind of sound or audio that you want. So we're going to go ahead and add a gain filter. We're going to hit done here. And I like my gain right around six. It gives my voice a nice little pop and a nice loudness to it. So we're going to go right around six if we can get it there. So that's your gain filter and that just amplifies your voice. So the second filter we're going to put on is the noise suppression. Now the noise suppression is everything that picks up in your room. So your fan, the noise from your computer, maybe bumping your desk, something like that. The noise suppression will cancel all of that out. So my noise suppression, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in my room and I tend to bump my desk every once in a while. So I like my noise suppression to be sort of loud, but sort of soft at the same time. So I like to set my noise suppression right around minus 19. That's 19 decibels. So it'll, it'll be tricky to sort of find your sweet spot. You sort of have to tinker with these settings, but these are the settings that I use. Uh, 19 is right about the sweet spot for me. So that's the noise suppression. Go ahead and here and click done. And then the third and final filter we're going to put on is the noise gate filter. Now the noise gate filter is exactly what it sounds like. So it will turn on as soon as the mic is picking up your decibels and sound, and it'll close as soon as your voice stops and drops below that decibel level. So it's a really handy thing. If you're not talking, it won't pick up any sound. And if you are talking, it'll pick up everything you're saying to a certain decibel level. So the attack time, the hold time, and the release time are something that I don't really mess with personally, but if you want to mess with that, that's it. you can do that at your leisure. So the close threshold, I like to keep around 32 decibels. That's a good range for me. And as far as the open threshold, I tend to keep it right around 25 decibels, and that seems to work well for me. So we'll go ahead here and click done. So as you guys can probably see, when I stop talking, the mic will actually shut off. As you guys can see in that bottom right corner, the microphone actually doesn't work when I'm not talking. I'll show you again. Here you go. So there it is, guys. It's just as easy as that. So you guys see those three filters on my microphone and then the ducking process that I did with the Elgato will make your audio and whatever you're recording that sound that much more professional and that much more tailored to your voice and perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. That way you guys don't miss any new tutorials or anything else that I put up on the channel. Without any further ado, this is your boy Phantom Stilts. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care, guys. I make it go.